Good morning, good morning, ladies. Good Tuesday morning. What is this, September 15th today? I am so excited to get to pray with you again this morning and um, welcome, welcome to our prayer call this morning. As you all are coming on here, I'm gonna give you just a few minutes and make sure that as you join us this morning, that you share any prayer needs that you have because we have wonderful, precious ladies who are praying for you during our prayer call. And of course, Pastor Callie and a few of us others go back and we, we pray and sometimes comment, but definitely pray over each and every need. And uh, so thankful to get to pray together with you this morning. And um, go ahead and share this with your friends. We are calling for 10 thousand mothers in Zion to pray with us. And wouldn't it be so exciting if we reached our goal here this month? I think that would be fantastic. We have a few more weeks in September and um, how that looks is just having roughly around a thousand of us live right now joining us. And then by the end of the day, for sure, we'll have 10,000 women praying with us, which would just be very exciting. Um, and I'm actually... Um, going to just share a couple of announcements. And then I asked my husband to pray with me this morning. So I'm really looking forward to that. He's going to pray with us this morning. Some of you have met him. If not, I'll introduce you to him. But um, don't forget next week, um, the prayer tour continues in Houston. So you'll want to go to the Eventbrite link that's located here and, and, and register to go. It's totally free. It's just they would like to know you're coming and there is a cap of 300. So you want to get a ticket to be in person there. Otherwise, the rest of us will join online and that's going to be a great time. And then we just want to let you know about Crowned Conference that's coming in December, December uh, 4th and 5th. And um, if you have yet to register, look over that, pray and ask the Lord if you are to be one of those 700 that are coming. Uh, it's going to be a really fantastic time. I'm looking forward to going and I have several ladies from um, here in Vancouver, Washington, I know that are going. So we're excited for that. And then this week, um, here in the Pacific Northwest, a Heritage is excited to host a women's conference and Pastor Callie and Cindy are coming to that. And um, we do have a few more spots available for you to come in person. Otherwise, there is an opportunity for you to join online and you can absolutely do that. The link will be posted here for you to register. It's uh, this Friday morning, starts at 10 o'clock uh, Pacific Standard Time and ends on Saturday afternoon. And we're just really excited to have them come here to the to our region and minister to us. So that's gonna be awesome. As you are joining, if you'll get your communion ready, we're gonna get ready to have communion together. So that's gonna be such a great time and I'm looking forward to it. So awesomeness. And um, I'm gonna introduce my sweet husband. He's gonna pray with us this morning and I am I really excited. Oh, am I doing prayer points first? You said this, I'm gonna do prayer points first. You said you were gonna do the Ephesians first. I did. So here's, here's, here's the problem. Here's, <laughs> this is Brian Davenport. Here, hey. Here's the problem. And I mean, this has been, this is a fantastic part, but y'all don't have any theme music. We don't have theme music. And uh, I just I just thought, well, um, we need to have some theme music for these mm -hmm. things. So I don't know. So who's first, what's happening? But. I thought it would be more appropriate, like if we began, like if you began the broadcast, mm -hmm. and, and 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 you would said something, you know, like, "Good morning, welcome to Mothers of Zion Prayer Cast. We're happy to be with you on this." And you use a different word other than this morning, because everyone says this morning, yeah. and you said it seven times. So, you did. Yeah, so you need to say like this blessed occasion, oh my goodness. this. Holy moment, this supernatural second. Yes, we we don't have music that well, we have <laughs> on our prayer. I cast. just wonder if a little bit of theme music, you know, every cool, everything mm -hmm. that's that's remarkable, that is historic. I mean, oh my goodness, where would Cheers be without theme music? That's true. Where would Friends be without theme swipe. music? There you are. Where would? And, and, and honestly, theme music is the one element that I think that I personally might be able to bring to add to. The Mothers of Zion. The Mothers we of are, Zion. We are thankful for that. I've actually often thought that there's some good, when you're reading scripture, that Jesus has some odds. He has different theme music. Oh, no, listen, should we talk about that for just a minute? Because there's great theme, theme music. For instance, have you ever heard uh, Billy Joel's I Go Walking in the Night? Yes. 
because it, it goes in the middle of the eye, the walking in the... Mm -hmm. and, yes. and I always thought that was the theme music that should be playing when he's walking on the water at three in the morning and the disciples are rowing in their boat. Yes. I thought that would be good theme music. Yes, mm -hmm. it would be. There's lots of good theme music. Yeah. All right, but anyway, let me start, let me start again. So this is my husband. <laughs> <laughs> um, Dr. Brian Davenport. Um, but I, I thought it would be wonderful to have him pray with us this morning. Um, I invited him. Is this good theme music for me? To be with us. I might, I might rethink it, but we'll see. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is not our show, so. Oh. We do, us. we do have yeah. one, and <laughs> there's don't. usually about 17 people that watch that one. Right. So we're Our goal is to have 18. <laughs> by the end of the September. Okay, all right. As you're getting your communion ready, let me read our prayer points for today. I have four and five, and um, listen, if you can't start your day off with some joy, then I don't know. All right, here we go. Today we're praying for America, the church in America, yep. to be aligned to God's word, his promises, and the finished work of the cross and his ways. And I'm gonna read Ephesians um, one, Verses 18. I'm going to start at verse 18 here really quick. I pray. Is that right? I thought you turned to 17. 17. 17. 17. 17. Thank 17. you. Right. I keep asking that yeah. the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the glorious Father, may give you the spirit of wisdom and revelation mm. so that you may know him better. I pray that the eyes of your heart may be enlightened in order that you may know the hope to which he has called you the riches of his glorious inheritance in his holy people and his incomparably great power for us who believe that the that power is the same as the mighty strength he exerted when he raised Christ from the dead and seated and seated him at his right hand in the heavenly realms far above all rule and authority power and dominion and every name that is invoked not only in the present age but also in the one to come and god placed all things under his feet and appointed him to be head over everything over the church which in which is his body and the fullness of him who fills everything in every way so lord we just pray right now that the church in america would be aligned to the word of god mm -hmm. lord i thank you that your promises are true mm -hmm. and i thank you that it is finished lord that we are healed and we are whole and lord i thank you that your truth will be spoken mm -hmm. lord i thank you that in pulpits across america they are preaching the truth of your word mm -hmm. and lord that people are are being called mm. to repentance, to restoration, and to hope. And we yeah. thank you for thank that you, Jesus. in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. And Lord, we pray now, Lord, because your love never fails, we pray now that there would be love and honor. Lord, I pray that love and honor of, of God would completely demolish and destroy the strongholds of hate. Mm. Lord, we, we speak that the strongholds of hate of every kind, hate of the unborn, hate of races, of wow. genders, and authority would be demolished by your love. Lord, we thank you yeah, that wow. you thank love Jesus. and you call us to love. And Lord, I pray that there would be a shift in our country mm -hmm. where love and honor are shown towards one another. And Lord, we thank you. We agree together as men and women that that planned parenthood will be demolished, that it will be no more, that we will begin to see across America them closing, defunding, signs being torn down, mm -hmm. Lord, of, of, of their business. Mm -hmm. And Lord, that there is an uprising of the love of the newborn, that, they are, that there is life, Lord, and we thank you that there is no hate of, Lord, every one of your kids are loved by you, and I pray that you would show all of us how to love, Lord, yeah. and we thank you for that in yeah. Jesus' name. We pray that you, being rooted and established in love, mm -hmm. may have power, yeah. together with all the Lord's holy people, to mm -hmm. grasp how wide and how long and how high and how deep mm. is the love of Christ. Yes. And to know this love that surpasses knowledge, mm -hmm that you may be filled to the measure of all the fullness of God. Mm -hmm. Lord, we do pray. We pray that, that you would empower your people to know the measureless love of Christ, yes. that we would know it, that we would experience it, that we would walk in it. 
Lord, and that in that way we would be filled to the full measure of Christ. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Babe, I'd Hallelujah. like to go back and just agree with what you were yeah. praying earlier um, with regard to praying for the church. And it sounds sometimes it sounds like a lot of words, mm -hmm. but if we just listen to what Paul says, I pray that the eyes of your heart may be enlightened, that you may know the hope to which he has called you. The first thing he's asking is that we, God would give us the spirit that this all comes from the Lord. The Lord needs we need the Lord to breathe upon us. Mm -hmm. These are not things that we stumble upon uh, accidentally or even on our own. Yeah. But these things that are so great, so marvelous, that we really do need the Lord. Now, the, the facts of them can be seen in the Word, can be understood even in, maybe in creation. But that spirit of wisdom and revelation, revelation from the Holy Spirit gives us a, the breath of aha. It takes what, what, what's known as a fact and makes it something that's alive yes. in us. And, not, and that it, becomes, it becomes something that becomes faith in our lives. Mm -hmm. And so, we, Lord, we do pray yes. for that spirit of wisdom and revelation that yes. we may know you. That we, and then he prays, I pray that you might know the hope to which you have been called. I, we, we pray that the yes. church in America yes. would, would rise and, and she, they would be a people that would be driven yes. and moved by hope. Mm -hmm. Literally yes. a hope, a people consumed with hope. Like there's a glazed look in our eyes yes. because of the hope we're consumed with. Mm -hmm. Then this is a, our calling is hope. Yes. Our calling isn't despair our calling isn't right. discouragement our calling isn't dead ends and dead mm -hmm. hopes and and let's just get this over with right our, there's there's a the, our hope is so great that it's too great for us to even see on our own apart from the 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 light of the spirit mm -hmm. and that we would know the riches of his glorious inheritance in the saints mm -hmm. and that we would know that power which is without comparison immeasurable mm -hmm. that God has toward his church can we, um, Paul is longing for the Ephesians church to see who they are because of who Christ is. Yes. I, I mean, you, this is your hope. This yes. is your inheritance. This is your power because of who Christ is. Look here. God placed all things under his feet. Mm. Uh, and appointed to him to be head over everything for the church, which is his body. So our, our, our confidence and our hope in who we are and where we're going and what we're supposed to do is, is, is influenced and is entirely determined by uh, this, uh, who we see Jesus is. Yes. So once again, big Jesus makes for big hope, yep. big courage, big faith, yeah. big calling. Uh, Paul just calls us to see by the Holy Spirit just mm -hmm. how great Christ is and how much he's done. So thanks for yeah. praying for that. So good. Thank you. Yeah. Awesome. All right. Let's take communion together. All right. Great. I'm looking forward to this. Hopefully, by the way, as you have been writing your prayer requests, um, Please continue to do that, and then and then let us know where where you are. If you if you don't have a prayer request, just put your name and where you are. We just want to pray over you, pray over your city. We're going to be praying some more after communion here over the the West Coast and different areas. So, the fires. Oh, the West Coast. yeah, yeah, yeah. Normally, when people you want me that we don't want to have you're very ready. Uh huh. You're getting there, ready? Okay. Also, my wife has got this delicious stuff here. I can do that. I got. It. I already did it. Um, many times when people uh, participate in communion, we go to First Corinthians chapter eleven, where Paul says, "You know what I I, I, I pass on to you what I received from the Lord that, the Lord that the Lord Jesus on the night He was betrayed took bread and He broke it and said, This is My body, broken for you. Take this and do this in remembrance of Me.' And after supper, in like manner, He took the cup, and He said, "This cup is the new covenant in My, in my blood. Do this in remembrance of Me." And that's a, a portion in chapter 11 that we hear often, and I think, great. Uh, one portion that isn't as read as often is before that, Paul is actually making an, an argument about against participating in, in uh, idol temples. And, so, but, and the argument that he uses to contend against that is the sacredness and the power and the, the mystical power mm -hmm. <laughs> of what happens when we come to the Lord's table. Mm -hmm. And here's what he says. Uh, and it, it's 10, uh, 10, 16. Is not the cup of thanksgiving mm -hmm. for which we give thanks a participation in the blood of Christ? Wow. And is not the bread that we break 
a participation mm -hmm. in the body of Christ. So as we come to the Lord's table this morning together, I'd like you to just challenge you to bring your faith mm -hmm. and in it with the simplicity of those statements. That as we take this bread in our hands, this bread is not this bread that we break. Are we not participating in the body of Christ? Wow. Man, that does, yeah. that does something to my faith -o meter. Mm -hmm. I got like a defibrillator shock. <laughs> the mm. part, we, this morning we participate in the body of Christ. We join in, we receive, we participate in his very life given for us, in the very substance and life of his flesh, in the, bro the brokenness of his body, but, but the life in his body. I participate. Uh, his life, his body becomes part of my own, part of our own. And of course, Paul's talking about, he always has this double reference in, in Corinthians, but in the body of Christ, we participate in the body together. You and I, and Mrs. Dav, and all, all a bazillion of you that'll be watching. Imagine that, no matter where you are, as you take this, yeah. whatever is gonna, whatever spiritual symbol of the body of Christ you're holding today, this is, by mm -hmm. faith, in the spirit, we participate we join, we share in the very body of Christ. Let his healing power come into you. Let Christ's life flow into you, revig re 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 revigorating you, invigorating mm -hmm. you, uh, uh, renewing your life, yes. strengthening you, yes. pouring his very life and strength into you, bringing healing, bringing oh, substance. So where there is lack, where there is brokenness, let the, let the body of Christ bring abundance and strength and healing to you today. We participate in, yes. with the very body of Christ. Amen. Let's receive this together. Let's participate with, Christ, with the body of Christ mm. as the body of Christ together. Mm. Hallelujah. Now, Paul began with the cup of blessing. Mm. We traditionally begin with the bread, so we do that. But he said, mm. Is not the cup of thanksgiving or the cup of blessing mm. for which we give thanks a participation in the blood of Christ? This is the blood of Christ. We participate in that blood. That blood, that in his blood we have redemption and the forgiveness of sins. Mm. Can we say that again? Yes. In his blood we have redemption, redemption. and the forgiveness, the forgiveness of, sins. of sins. Those two are, those are, those are one movement but two different mm -hmm. achievements. Mm -hmm. You aren't forgiven. Right. <laughs> Your sins have been forgiven. Right. To forgive means to be cut off and sent away and forgotten. Mm -hmm. I don't think anybody here watching wants to mm -hmm. be cut off, sent away, and forgotten. No. Your sins, yes. we have the forgiveness of sins. Your sins are cut off from mm -hmm. you. They are removed. They are cast away and forgotten. But you, but Paul says, you are redeemed. Your sins have been cut off and sent away, but you have been purchased mm -hmm. and brought near redemption. Yes. You've been bought, bought back and brought near. Mm -hmm. That's good. We participate in the blood of Christ, the blood of Christ that is our, the cup of blessing, the cup that is, that forgives us from our sins. Our sins are forgiven. We are freed. We are the, the, the curse of sin, the curse of Satan. Mm -hmm. Any, any curse sent against you is broken. powerless. It is mm -hmm. broken. Yes. Understand this, right. anything, any dark word, anything haunting you, anything spoken over you, mm -hmm. that thing does not have, nothing anyone has said or done to you is greater than what Christ has done for you. Mm, say that again. That's well, good. I, don't know if I, remember I need it. to hear it. But nothing that anyone has said or done to you mm -hmm. is greater than what Christ has done for yes. you. Thank he, you, Jesus. Uh, Lee said it. He's saying it. This blood speaks a better word. Yes. I don't care who, what word anybody has said with what authority or what influence in your life or mm -hmm. what circumstance. Mm -hmm. I don't. We don't. Whether, whether or not the, the 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 weatherman says it's bad, the the CDC said bad. 
uh, uh, government said bad. It doesn't matter what everybody said bad. The blood of Jesus says good. Yes, yes, yes. The blood of Jesus says good. good. It turns it around. Yes. The, the, it doesn't matter. It, it, it cleanses me. It, re, it rewrites. It, 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 it's, it's writing out a new destiny. It's changing my history. All the things that that, that, that song says. Yeah. This blood, we participate in this blood. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We don't just observe it. We don't just right. wave at it in gratitude. We receive it. It's the cup that, of the cup of blessing that we receive. We participate Hallelujah. in it. Now, yes. let us participate in the power yes. of the blood of Jesus Hallelujah. together. Hallelujah. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, that your blood says good. Mm-hmm. That your blood is the final and perfect word. Ooh. That's good. You guys speaking that on here? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's Mama C. Yes. I feel like low, low lying, easy hanging fruit to say how many, there's so many folks need to hear that today. Yeah. That you've heard a bad word, but the blood of Jesus says it doesn't matter who said it's been bad. The blood of Jesus says it's good. Yes. It's a better word. It's a, it's a word of hope. It's a word of inheritance. It's a word of power. It's a word of, of blessing. It's a word of protection. It's a word of provision. It's a word of peace. Mm-hmm. It's a word of his presence. And it's a guarantee. It's a guarantee. He guaranteed it in his blood. It's a covenant. Yep. This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Not a suggestion. Not an idea. Not a hobby, not a habit, not a pastime. It's a covenant. Yes. It's a covenant. Hallelujah. So in, with the authority mm-hmm. and the hope of what Christ has done, Father, we bring our nation and these yes. women and their families before you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we intercede now. We call upon the authority of the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we, we, come, we pray against fires and those who would set them and, and the winds that would blow against them. Yes, we pray yes. against the destruction yes. that they are bringing into people's lives and homes and livelihood. We pray that you protect everything that can't be replaced. But yes, Lord, just Jesus. keep protecting people. Drive send the, Bring the wind, blow the smoke away, protect people's lungs, protect their families. Yes. Keep people from trauma. Keep people from taking advantage of each other. Let your people rise up with, with such love and generosity that they are a bright that they are a bright and shining light in darkness we pray for them we pray that you we pray also against nonsense anymore hurricanes lord right. we pray that you protect people from that as well in yes, this season lord. lord we look to you to be our shepherd yes. lead us guide us protect us yes. and provide for us in every way we thank you jesus hallelujah yes lord we thank you father lord i just i agree with with um what dav is saying right now that that there might be a, a word and that could even be something this week that has mm. been sent to you in the mail or or a doctor's notice or something listen it's not about being um uh ignoring something and 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 oh pretending it's not there but We're it's not, about we don't pretend away our pain no, we don't deny facts we no. just deny them the the right to have leverage in our life exactly we 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 say instead no god is good God's, God's blood speaks a better word. His blood covers me. It covers my children. So, Lord, I pray mm. right now for anyone anyone that might be watching this broadcast now or later that in the name of Jesus, mm. your healing power, just right now, Lord, we just cover, we cover bodies mm. with your blood. Lord, I thank you that, ch- that your, our children are thank covered you, with your blood. Lord, I speak the very healing power mm-hmm. of Jesus right now in your body, in your home. Mm-hmm. I Lord, I just I have such a tenderness over me that some of you are 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 hurting in your hearts right now. Mm. Somebody has hurt your heart, and I just listen. That's not Jesus does not want that for you. It's not His desire for you. And so, Lord, I pray right now for the Lord for the wounded heart mm-hmm. that you would come and minister your healing. Your blood covers that, Lord. Your blood covers a wounded heart. Lord, mm. I speak to your daughters who are who who would be hurting this morning. Mm. That they would know that, that their father loves them, mm. heals them, and mm. that there is hope. Mm-hmm. You are a daughter. Mm-hmm. You are enough and you are worthy. And we just pray your blessing, Jesus, now over these women this morning mm-hmm. and your healing. And we thank you, Lord. We thank you, Father. We thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. All right. 
You got anything else? Am I supposed to? Nope. I'm just going to close if you don't. I didn't want to cut you off. Oh, no. Thank no. you for joining me this morning and yeah, playing yeah, with us. You're welcome. We love you, ladies. Listen, let me just remind you again of, the, of um, a couple of things. I was thinking this morning early before I woke up about those of us that have been giving towards mm. um, sowing into this ministry. And I, I was thinking even about those maybe have yet to. And mm. I want, I was thinking here, here they are, you know, there's teams and there's different teams in every state and, and we're just about halfway through this 15 oh, weeks. Jesus. And if you, you might think, well, what is my, you know, $5 going to do? Well, it, first of all, it's going to do a lot. Um, but here's what I was thinking this morning. You are sewing. So it's like, you know what? I can't physically yeah. go to Kentucky, yeah. but, but I am, but I am in the sense that I am, okay, I am giving. Yeah. Say that again. Uh, while my sweet, wonderful wife is talking with you, I'm w the, your prayers are scrolling oh, yes. here. And I'm okay, just, praying. I'm just, oh, I'm just praying with you, all Thank of you, you, saying your names out loud. Good, good. People. Okay, I was wondering if you were, were mm. helping me. So mm. it's like you, I'm very helpful. It is like no. you are, you are not only sending Jesus, them, but gosh. you are, you're, you're, you're going with them. Is, is this? I hope I'm trying to make sense. What I'm trying to say, what I heard this morning, is you're this, absolutely making sense. That's why you're making so much sense. I'm just praying. Okay, you are, you. You know, me, Lord Davenport, I can't go to mm -hmm. every city. Mm -hmm. But I, if, if I'm sowing... But if you can't go, you can send your seed. I'm sending you, my you seed. You can send exactly. your seed in your place and your seed will, will, will accomplish you. That's yeah. where I'm going. That's, where the, that's the purpose of seed. Seed is sent. Yes. So mm -hmm. I just want to encourage you. We can't go, you, we send. You just, just ask the mm -hmm. Lord, what, what can I do? And that's it. And you think Whether $5 it's five or 5000 If you think $5 is anything, forget about it. Jesus said mustard seed starts that's off. In, right. It starts off, you can't even notice it, but, but, but if you'll sow it... You, you got to sow it to grow it. That's right. And if you'll sow it, the, the end result is expo always exponentially larger than the beginning. Yes, yes. So I just want to just encourage you. Some of you might be just th wondering, and well, what, what does that beach? matter? And that does. Thank so, you, Jesus. Well, we just love you guys, and we just do we bless you. you. And we're going to come back and, Amen. again, look over all of these names and lay our hands on this phone Seed and pray sent. and believe that God is good and has good for you. And... Uh, We'll see you tomorrow morning at six o'clock. God bless you guys. Have a wonderful wait, wait. day. Wait, I just think that just for a minute. Oh yeah. Since we're not, this is we're legit. Not, we're not in a hurry. Yeah, this is good. So we just pray. We pray for the we pray for the elders. I'm just going to, while we're watching. Yeah. We're on here. Jesus speaks a better word. We Lord pray over hearts. We pray over. I pray over that person that said that there's somebody had prostate cancer. You aware of that nonsense? That's right. Pray over that lady that said their their daughter's going for a through a divorce. Oh Lord, touch her heart. Her, her angry. Yeah, Jesus. We pray for law enforcement. Yes, Watch over them, Lord, Jesus. Lord, protect them today. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Have Making it, all yeah. things new. Speaks a better word. Yeah. Hey, Stacy. We bless you in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Yeah, the seed can be sent. That's right. You're right. Hallelujah. We bless you, Patty Stark. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hi, Rachel. Yeah. Mm. If you know the song and you're somewhere, why don't you just, why don't you just try to hum along or sing along yeah. right over? Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Lord, I pray for you, Crystal. I pray for your heart this morning. Lord, Jesus, heals your touch heart. your heart, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Oh. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Here, one more time. Oh, Jesus. They're, they're right, the trauma. People from trauma. Help them, Jesus. Legal favor. Get them. Yes, Touch you with Patty. Yes. Touch Sean. Thank you, Jesus. It covers you. Pray for the Alberts family. Mm. Jesus, bless them. Help them in this time. Yes, Jesus. Increase of faith. Yes, for your husband and yeah. your families. Yes, Lord. Increase pray for Donnie J. Go, Donnie J. Yes. That's me praying for the Trump president. Yes. Hallelujah. That's right. That's right. Yeah. More legal matters. Lord, we pray for yeah. justice. justice. We pray for justice, Lord. Yeah. Hallelujah. Marriages, Thank lands. you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus.
Yeah. We just encourage you, if you don't have this, this song, Better Word, why don't you listen to it as you're finishing your prayer time this morning? Let it just minister to you this morning. We love you. God bless you guys. We'll see you in the morning. Bye.